and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing our brand new set Peacock Before and Afters and its coordinating dies. This is the latest in our series of before and after stamp sets and these stamp sets work perfectly with the Magic Picture Changer die. They're also really great for cards on their own too and so we're going to be making both a Magic Picture Changer card and just a normal card today with this cute little peacock. So first we have our standing peacock without his feathers out, and then we've got the peacock with all of his feathers on display. We have two cute little party hats that are perfect for making birthday cards, and a fun little star that you can help to decorate your scene. This set has some great sentiments, so we have congrats, yay, you must be, or I am, proud as a peacock. We also have today is your day. Shake your tail feathers, which cracks me up, and then strut your stuff, which is really cute too. Let's party, and an exclamation point to add to the ends of your phrases. Here we're going to use some Copic markers to add some color to these fun images, and I love these peacocks so much. They're just adorable, and I love that you can have it switch from the standing peacock to the peacock who's got all his feathers on display. I'm going to be coloring these in a little bit more of a traditional color scheme, but I think it would be really fun to color all of those feathers in rainbow order as well, which would just be really whimsical and super, super cute. Here you can see I'm laying down my dark color, medium, and then blending it out with my light. And I'm going to do the same thing with the feathers that are out on display, creating shadow behind the body of the peacock. I laid down my lightest marker first just to wet the paper to make it a little bit easier to blend my colors out. Now I've gone through my darkest, now medium, and then we're going to go to the light at the very tip of the feathers. And I think that looks super cute. It was really quick and easy to do, but really gives him a lot of dimension. For the little details on his wings, we're going to be using some turquoises and then a little bit of purple because my whole card is going to be purple. So I like the idea of having that little highlight color coordinate with the pattern paper that I'm going to use. My favorite way to color these super cute party hats is in rainbow order and I love these for the peacocks and I also love using these party hats on other critters which is just really really cute for birthday cards. These are the coordinating dies which you can bend apart at the tabs or use your wire snips to separate. We're going to take that die and line it up with the stamped image, hold it in place with low tack tape and run it through the die cut machine and now we'll have perfectly cut out images. You can see just how cute those peacocks are. They're adorable to use on the front of a card and then on the inside of a card or in the magic picture changer. Uh, you could also do something really cute with the new center picture window card and I'll show you a design team example of that towards the end. And here you can see them with their cute little party hats on. So the first thing we're going to do with this before and after set is we're going to make a magic picture changer card. Now if you've never made one of these before you'll want to check out the intro to magic picture changer video and we'll link that in the description below. So we're going to stamp out the both little plain peacock and then the feather peacock and I'm also going to be stamping them onto a full stick post-it note to create a mask in just a little bit. So we're going to color these in the exact same way that we colored the peacocks at the beginning. We're going to peel up that post-it and then take scissors and trim right along the black line of the stamped image. Because this is a full stick post-it note, this whole entire image is going to have that sticky post-it-ness behind it and we can layer it right over and protect it for when we're going to do our inking. The other really cool thing about doing masks is that you can reuse them over and over again. So I'm going to be able to use these on a bunch of different cards. I'm going to layer the standing peacock's little mask there right on top and now we're going to use a piece of post-it note tape to create a ground. So you see I'm just going to line it right up with his little feet there and then we'll repeat the same thing with the peacock on the right, lining it up to be just about the same level on their feet. That way they're going to have some consistency between the ground on both of them. Now that the ground area of the card is protected by that post-it note tape, we can start inking up the sky. So I have some minty fresh lawn fawn ink and one of these ink blender brushes. I'm going to pick up a little bit of the ink and go in circular motion, building up the ink around that peacock, going right up to the edge of that post-it note paper. And that's going to give this great line between the sky and then the ground. And we'll repeat the same thing on the other side. I want the ground and the sky to be the exact same between the two different peacocks. 
So now we can peel up that post-it note tape. You can see that great line we've got there. And then we're going to take another piece of post-it note tape and layer it right above that line. And that's now going to protect the sky from creating our grass. So we've got that all protected now. We're going to take some freshly cut grass ink because that makes sense, right? It's freshly cut grass. It's going to look perfect. And we're going to do the same thing with the blender brush, picking up a little bit of ink, going in circular motion and slowly building up that ink color until it looks just right. And I wanted this to be nice and bold, so I really built that ink color up. So now we'll repeat the same thing with the other peacock. We'll peel up the ground piece and then we're going to protect the sky with that same post-it note tape and then repeat the same idea with the freshly cut grass ink and the blender brush. And so we're just going to ink that over right there up until that line of that post-it note tape, building up that color until it looks just like the other peacock that we worked on. The next up is my favorite part. It's the big reveal, right? So we're going to peel up that post-it note tape and now we've got the sky and ground and then we can start to peel up our masks as well. And seeing the color pop up out from under those masks is one of my favorite things ever. Next, we'll take out the Magic Picture Changer dies, and you'll see that both of these dies have these little viewfinder windows that we're going to set up this peacock scene in. So I'm going to start with the one on the right, setting it up and looking exactly how I think that peacock is going to look really nice. Once it's in perfect placement in that viewfinder window, we can use some post-it note tape to hold it in place. Then what I'm going to do is repeat the same thing on the left hand side with the larger pocket piece. And so I'm going to look at the one on the right and I want to make sure those grounds line up exactly. So I'm just visually looking at it, eyeballing it so that the ground is the exact same when we switch from the standing peacock to the feather peacock. So we've run that through the die cut machine and now we have our larger pocket piece and our moving piece as well. We're going to form the interactive mechanism. So we're going to fold along the score lines that the die created for us. So we're going to fold right down in the center and crease that really well with the bone folder. Then we'll open this pocket piece up to the inside and we're going to fold along the tabs on the top and the bottom. So I like to start in the center and then press out to the outside edges, kind of reinforcing that score line and then using my bone folder to give it a nice sharp crease. The next thing we're going to do is work with some eighth inch double sided tape and we're going to put tape on the inside and outside of both of these tabs for a total of four pieces of tape. So we're going to line up that tape on the inside of the tab, flip it over and do the other tab. And then we'll turn it to the front of the pocket piece and we're going to add that same eighth inch tape there to that side as well. So we'll put it on the outside of both of the tabs. Next, we'll flip it over to the inside of the pocket piece and we're going to peel up that liner paper and attach the tabs to the sides. This is going to create a track for our moving piece to move in. So we'll peel up the liner paper on the other side and attach that to the inside of the pocket piece. Next, we're going to be working with the secret weapon for this card, and this is this powder tool. You could also use some baby powder and a paintbrush for this. And what we're going to do is we're going to run that powder tool along where we've adhered those little tabs to remove any excess stickiness. And we'll run the powder on the little tab pieces as well. And that's going to help reduce the friction between the two pieces as they move. That powder tool really is awesome. It really gets these magic picture changer cards moving really, really smoothly. Next, we're going to take that moving piece and insert it into the center of the card. You'll notice that there's four slots and four tabs. So we're going to line up that first tab into that first slot. And we're just going to push that right through, almost like a little basket weave. Second tab, second slot, third tab, third slot, fourth tab, fourth slot. And that's going to create the moving mechanism. So we're going to repeat that a little bit closer now. We're going to insert the moving piece into the center of the pocket. And then we're going to line up that first tab with the first slot. Second tab, second slot, third tab, third slot, fourth tab, fourth slot. Then we can pull on the tab and you're going to see how that's going to start moving. We'll open up to the inside of the pocket and we want to make sure that that moving piece is between the two tabs and not touching them. So make sure it's right in the center. And once that's in perfect placement, we can peel up the liner paper on both the top and bottom tabs. Once we've peeled those up, we can go ahead and close this like a book and that's going to secure our whole thing together and create this really, really cool moving mechanism where the peacock is going to get to strut his stuff. 
Next, we need to create a stopper for this card. And so the Magic Picture Changer die comes with this really cool piece that functions as both a stopper and a decorative element that lets the recipient know what to do. So I'm gonna run that through the die cut machine with some spiffy speckles paper. It creates a little score line in the center, so we're gonna fold along that score line and then add tape all around the inside of this pull tab piece. Then we can take this piece and attach it to the tab that's sticking out there on the top. So we'll make sure it's nice and centered and then we can press down. Now you'll see that when we go to push the tab, it's gonna create a natural stopper for this mechanism so that that moving piece doesn't just slide out right out the bottom of the card. This is the Magic Picture Changer add-on and it's a decorative add-on. I ran it through with that same pattern paper and we're gonna do some stamping on this. So we have another before and after stamp set that's brand new and that's birthday before and afters. And one of the things I love about these sets is that they coordinate with each other. So you'll see that the fonts mix and match. So you could use the congrats from the peacock with the birthday or the happy birthday with the peacock from the birthday set. And so that's what we're gonna do this time. We're gonna use the happy birthday from the birthday before and after and the today is your day, shake your tail feathers from the peacock before and afters. Now that our sentiments are stamped, we can start to adhere this on there. And there's a special way to put your adhesive onto the back of this add-on. And that goes from corner to corner. So we're gonna go to corner to corner on all four sides. And then we're gonna add some tape runner to the shorter sides as well. We're not gonna add any tape runner to the longer sides because that will get in the way of the mechanism moving. Then we can layer that right on top and you'll see how that's gonna frame up that peacock scene perfectly. Next, we have some of the really rainbow scallops paper in the beautiful blue color, which is gonna go along with the blue in our peacock. And we're gonna layer that onto a card base and then add some foam squares to the back of our magic picture changer mechanism there. I like to do that because it makes it a little bit easier for the recipient to be able to pull the pull tab. And then we'll layer that right onto the card base. And now you can see how cute is this? Oh my goodness. That little peacock, when you pull it, you can see how the ground and the sky stays consistent. When you pull it, you get to see his feathers come out. It's the cutest thing. These cards are so happy and so fun. I made this card for my brother's birthday and I get to give it to him today. So I am so excited about that too. Next, we're gonna be creating a card that isn't an interactive card. So I love that the stamp set's great for interactive, but it's just great for super cute and quick and easy cards. So we've got a piece of white cardstock here, and we're gonna layer the whole thing with liquid glue. And then we're gonna take some strips of colored cardstock that have been cut to be about quarter inches tall there. And so we're gonna layer these on in this really cool rainbow pattern. And these colors are sunflower, fake tan, guava, cilantro, and peacock. So now we've created this really cool rainbow stripe and you'll see that it's gonna go diagonally on the card, which is a really, really fun look. So we're just gonna hold that in place and then just add a little pencil line on one side of this. And that's gonna be our guide as to where we're gonna trim this off. And this is gonna help us do some stamping. So we've got that pencil line there and we can just trim off on that diagonal and you can see how cool this is gonna look already. So now Shari had this really fun idea to take all of the sentiments from this set and mix and match them. So it says, today is your day. You must be proud as a peacock. Then we can stamp the shake your tail feathers, which is my favorite one. And then at the very end, we can stamp our strut your stuff. So I love that all those sentiments can actually mix and match in this really long phrase here. We've die cut the polka dot backdrop die out of some mermaid cardstock. We'll layer some liquid glue on that and then add that to a white card base. And that's gonna give this really cool die cut look of a really awesome polka dot, which is gonna be a really great subtle background. Next, we're gonna stamp the congrats from the stamp set in some clear embossing ink on some black licorice cardstock. We'll add some white heat embossing powder onto that, and then we can heat that up with the heat tool to have a nice bright white sentiment. I really love the idea of the contrast of the rainbow stripe with the black and white sentiment. It's really, really cool. So we're gonna layer that congrats there towards the bottom of the card with some foam squares. And this is gonna become almost like the ground for our peacock. Then we can go ahead and layer this whole rainbow stripe on there. So we've got the diagonal on the left-hand side there. So we're gonna kinda layer it, see where it's gonna look the nicest. And once we have that figured out, we can add that to the card and then trim off any of the excess. We'll also add that cute little peacock with some foam squares so that he's really popped up from behind the scene. 
I love this idea of the rainbow stripe. It's a really cool way to use up scraps you might have in your stash. A pattern paper, I think, would look really fun, a whole mix of different patterns on these stripes. And you could stamp fun little sentiments on there or just have it as a decorative element. For a finishing touch, we're gonna to take some Stickles glitter glue and add that to the detail on the peacock swings. And this card is all done and super, super cute. It's so much fun and I love that you could use this card design for congrats cards or birthday thank you, etc., just by changing up the sentiments. So next up, we have some gorgeous cards by the design team. And this card here, oh my goodness, Audrey has blown me away. That background that she created with watercolor is just gorgeous. And I love her yay letters, so much fun. This card by Melissa is so cute. I love how she's got all of those little feather looking dyes above the peacock, too cute. I love how Letitia created her own tone on tone background on her card base with these stars and hats from the set. And then here, this Magic Picture Changer by Megan. Oh my goodness, her scene is just gorgeous. And when you pull that tab, you get the amazing feathers of the peacock on display. And then here, Elise had the really cool idea to put the peacock on the front of a center picture window card. And then when you open up the card, you have that beautiful peacock in the center. So I love there's so many ways to use this set. And I cannot wait to see what you guys do with it. So make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.